Deadpool and Wolverine has taken over the world, and for good reason, not just because it has Ryan Reynolds. Looking good, Francis. I've seen the movie twice at this point, and I loved it both times, so I decided I need to make a poster for it, but with a little twist. Okay guys, let's get out there and make a difference. I'm gonna make Deadpool posters in a bunch of different styles. And we started off with the cartoon one, so this was the best pose for Deadpool, and I tried making a little rough composition for Wolverine and Deadpool, but I ended up changing it later. I started adding some nice oil painting filters, but this took a lot of adjusting. What really helped was when I cut out his head just like this, and I decided I was gonna make it much bigger, and this really gave a good cartoon effect. I then used Liquify to make his eyes and nose a little bigger, and heck yeah, that definitely works. After that, I found a spot for Wolverine. I cut him out, and I put him to the right of Deadpool. Then I started doing the exact same technique to make him look cartoony as Deadpool. Made his head bigger, added that oil painting filter, then I added Cassandra Nova. I hope you guys have seen the movie, because that's a big spoiler. Once again, I started doing the same techniques that I used for Deadpool and Wolverine. But I had to go back to Wolverine because I forgot to make his eyes and nose is bigger. So even when I did this, I still felt something was off. So I searched for these cartoony eyes and goodness, this did not work. Um, yeah, you can see that. I fixed this by just drawing in my own eyeballs and adding a little white dot for a highlight. I did the same thing on Cassandra Nova as well. After that was all done, I decided it was time to add a title. So I put that in there. Something fell off though. So I put some shadows under Deadpool's arms. That didn't fix it. I realized it was the title. So I started making my own title, except more cartoony. I copied the same concept as the original title. I just changed up the font, added a couple blend styles, and you know, it actually turned out pretty well and I'm pretty happy with it. After that, I added some shadows on Wolverine and Cassandra Nova because they're behind Deadpool and it wouldn't really make sense if they were just lit up everywhere. After doing those shadows, I added highlights because that's always needed. Then I added some debris behind them. I put a Gaussian blur on it and I put that everywhere. After that, I went in and smoothed out some of this oil painting stuff because it was a little too much. Then I went in and did a camera raw filter and this ladies and gentlemen is the cartoon Deadpool and Wolverine poster. I actually think this one turned out pretty well. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Now we're onto a more serious poster. I was going for like a John Wick type vibe and this took forever to find the photo that I actually wanted for Deadpool. And after searching forever I decided you know what let's go with Deadpool's character and do something a little more goofy. And this picture was perfect. I also realized that I could do something pretty cool with the heart a little bit later. Instead of using the traditional white background that Deadpool and Wolverine uses, I decided to use a black background to make it look a little bit different. And I added a bunch of smoke in to make the ambience a lot better. After that, I took this little Wolverine from the title and I put it in between Deadpool's heart hands. I thought this was a good idea and it kind of encaptured the idea of Deadpool and Wolverine but still had that Deadpool funny aspect to it. Then I went in and added a bunch more fog because it just wasn't enough right now. I also brightened up Deadpool's eyes just like I did with Wolverine's and added a little bit of a glow to it. Then I went in to add some highlights on Deadpool and I realized I need a light source so I added one in the top left and I put some highlights on Deadpool and Deadpool's hands. After adding some particles as well as doing a camera raw filter, this is my serious adaptation of the Deadpool and Wolverine poster. Definitely captured that John Wick vibe that I was going for, but tell me what you guys think in the comments. Comic book style. Now this, this gave me a lot of problems. My plan was to make like a pop art type of thing, but it really just did not work however I tried to do it. I eventually found something that looked okay and kind of like a comic book, but it just didn't. It didn't capture what I really wanted. So I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm just actually gonna use comic book drawings of Deadpool and Wolverine. So I searched and searched on the internet until I found something that I liked. Then I started on trying to make a composition and oh boy, this was difficult. But then I realized I could just use a comic book background. So I found one, I put that in and I turned it sideways. I then made it look like Deadpool and Wolverine were behind this line. So it kind of, I don't know, just add a little bit extra. Then I got the idea to make the bottom yellow in the top red, because you know, Deadpool and Wolverine, huh? <sighs> then I decided to put the Wolverine on the red and Deadpool on the yellow, just to add that team synergy in it. After that, I added in a speech bubble because you know, Deadpool talks a lot. And I put a quote in there from the new movie, so if you don't wanna see it, look away. After that, I followed my tradition of putting in a camera raw filter, and this is the comic book adaptation of Deadpool and Wolverine. Honestly, this turned out a lot better than I thought it would, and it actually captured the comic book essence. Now, I was kind of out of ideas. I didn't know what to do. I feel like I've exhausted every one of my options. Then, I got a good idea. I don't know if y'all have seen caricature art before, but it's those people who sit on the street and they ask for your money and then draw this drawing of you that's really stupid. But I thought, 
That's a funny idea. I'm gonna do it. This photo that I used earlier was a perfect base for Deadpool. Then I cut out the head on this photo of Deadpool and put it on to the other photo of Deadpool. Ugh. Then I went on to make him look like an actual caricature. So I made his eyes way smaller, which looked pretty funny. And I made his head a little bigger and his chin a little smaller and... Oh... What is that? <laughs> As you can hear, uh, when I was doing it, I did not think this turned out very well, and you know what? It didn't, but it was funny as crap, so I kept it. And you know, time to move on to Wolverine. I searched for a bunch of pictures, couldn't find anything I liked, I even tried this one. And I don't know how, but somehow after warping all this, this turned out way worse than Deadpool. That, that did not work. Holy crap, hold up. So I went down to Google and I searched for a new photo of Wolverine and this was gonna work perfect. So I put him in there and I made his head a lot bigger. Just like I did with Deadpool. And I could already tell this was gonna work a lot better just because of his hair. I knew it was gonna turn out pretty funny. And after warping everything, it did turn out pretty funny, but I knew something was missing. I had to do something with his mouth and this, this made it look good. And <laughs> this is perfect. So I put Deadpool on the left over here and I put Wolverine to the right, but I made him a little smaller because, you know, in the comics, he's, like, small. Now I'm just adding the finishing touches, like the title, and I literally moved every slider in the camera raw filter. And this is the character version of Deadpool and Wolverine. Honestly, this is so funny to me. Maybe it's not that funny to you guys, but this was killing me. Now, this next one was a little shot in the dark. No puns intended. I tried to do something a little different, and I thought glow in the dark might be a cool idea. This took a lot of adjusting, but you know, it turned out pretty cool. So I used this photo of Deadpool once again because it's just such a good photo. And then I messed around with a bunch of filters until I got something that looked kind of glow in the dark. But this is going to take a lot of adjusting, and I knew that. So I started off just by adding a glow to the white highlights as well as the red highlights and you know this was pretty easy. At least I say that for now because it was going to get a lot harder. After that I went in and made the Deadpool eyes white and then I started messing around with some adjustment layers and I decided that I was going to make the rest of Deadpool a little darker so the highlights stood out a little more. And I accentuated this even more by making the highlights way brighter with an exposure layer. Then I tried to start adding some like edge glow and stuff but you know honestly that didn't really work. So I made this really faint red background and honestly you can't really see it in the end product at all. After putting in the title and just making it Deadpool, because there's no Wolverine in this one, there's just not enough space, I made the Deadpool title also glow in the dark, because, you know, that's pretty dang cool. I made it glow with an exposure layer, and then I went in and added a camera raw filter, which really made all the magic happen. And this is the glow in the dark Deadpool poster. I'm pretty happy with this. It definitely is glow in the dark. I mean, that's what I was going for, so... If you guys enjoyed this video, I would ask you that you subscribe and like. Um, and yeah, watch this video that's popping up on the screen right now. And I will see you guys in the next one.